What's up guys? Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Today we're going to try and harvest another young male mouflon. And uh, we'll go and check out the pheasants a little bit. We have to go and buy that other shotgun to be able to do it, which is like 11000 something dollars. Absolutely insane. But uh, we're going to do it anyway. Pheasants are pretty easy to find. I already have a good idea where we're going to go to check those out. And what do we have here? I'll check that out. What do we got? He's a three star mature. Interesting. That's pretty cool. So what 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 do we do in this situation? Do we do we take the three star or do we let him live? And we get rid of the one star? I'm still trying to figure it out 100% sure on how the uh, how it works. I think I'm going to take the one star. Because if he's an adult one star, maybe that's an issue. But he's a three star, so maybe his offspring will be a lot, uh, a lot better. I don't know. Got my yardage way too high, don't I? There we go. Well, I'll take that. Kind of interesting little first, uh, first bit. Okay, so let me see if we were right. Uh, overview. Yeah, look at that fitness rating. 21%. Okay. So basically, if we just see an adult or a mature one star, it needs to be taken. That's that's my guess anyway. So we'll let the three star live and let it carry on. Yeah. We might be on to something. I hope so anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hunt on and see if we can find another little mouflon. Mouflon, mouflon. We have happened across two different herd of mouflon. Well, I think this one here that I'm looking at, I scared them from back behind, and they ran up this hill and then came over here. So, I know that this group here has a young one in it. And I think it's a one star. Where's it at? Yep, young male one star. So, let's see what this group has compared to it. That's a two star mature. So, this one doesn't have any young in it. Okay. So, it's just this one. Is it this guy right here? Yeah, it's him. What else do they have? I better not look too long or I'm going to miss out. Because they're definitely moving now. Here's our guy right here. And he's 286 yards. I'll go ahead and try and get all set up here. I'll call it that. Our wind is hard, hard, hard to the left. Okay. Did we get him? What's happening? He's just standing there. <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> what? All right. Whatever. We just, we scared him so bad he instantly went into rigor mortis. Oh, what is this? It's like roe deer or something. No, it's more move on. Why are they even here? Where's the other ones? Okay, right there. I can't get a read on what that one is. 
This has got to be like one of the same groups from a minute ago, right? Has to be. The males. I can't see the males though. I bet it's the same group. Not the same group that I shot, but the other group that didn't have a one a uh, a young male with them. Yeah, it's a one star adult. Yeah, I bet that's I bet that's them. I bet. Should we take this guy too? Since we're right here. Just to do some more management. I mean may as well. Let's look at him again. Add a little bit more interest to the hunt. How far is he? 229. The wind isn't too crazy, so we should be able to get just about a direct hit. <laughs> I think something might be wrong with the uh, the move line there. That's the second one we've scared stiff. Wow. Okay, what did I do with my other one? I got sidetracked. There it is. Guess I can mark this one up here to say that. Where is he at? He's right there. I should be able to notice him. He's just standing there. But look at this. <laughs> it's already mounted. My God. All right, let's check it out. That was a really high shot. Um, yeah, this was young. He actually had a decent, uh, a decent rating though. He probably would have ended up being a two star. Oh well, we got to get our mission done. Okay, we'll sell him. That's funny. Two of five. Cool. This might be interesting. Because uh, a lot of them, a lot of them I've been seeing so far are all, you know, either adult or mature. Might have to wait another um, season. I say season, you know, like a rotation of the, the animals themselves. Whenever that may be. Yeah, I think, uh, I think now I'd like to go do some of that pheasant hunting. We have enough money to buy the shotgun, I believe. And I'm probably going to be banging my head against the wall before it's all said and done. Because trying to shoot those things is uh, a challenge. Oh, I'll put it that way. <laughs> oh, what's over there? Probably the same move lawn. Look at this one. Look it. It is move lawn. They're not very smart, are they? Look at her. She's like, oh, there's something there. Well, they might be confused because this one's just standing here like a statue. We'll see what his fitness rating is. Yeah, 26.6. Okay. So that's pretty much telling me that that's exactly what we need to do. Which, I mean, I had kind of noticed it before. Kind of figured, but I hadn't really, really focused on it to see if it was true or not. But that's what it seems like. It seems like every one star adult or mature that we take has a poor fitness rating. Which I guess makes sense. Regardless. What are they doing? Anyway. I'm going to move on now. Um, yeah, so we'll head back to the lodge. We'll buy that super expensive shotgun and see about... You know, uh, torturing ourselves trying to shoot pheasant. All right, let's get in here and buy this shotgun. I'm go here. Go to our shop. Where is it at? Where is it at? It was the Holden Jack. Look at this sucker. Oh, I'm a little short, actually. Dang. Okay. I thought I had enough, but I was wrong. So we're going to go have to make a little money real quick before we can even uh, 
think about doing that. Alright, no problem. Let's see what we can go get. Well, that might do it. Bad luck for this one. Well, it's it's good. We got this one anyway. Look at that. Bad luck for him. Good luck for us. Sell him. That's 110. I did notice something a second ago, though. Unless I scared him. I saw some hogs. Yes. Yes. <laughs> did I jump? Oh, yeah. Okay. I want to check these guys out. We have hardly seen hogs at all. You know, the last time that I saw them was... I don't know, it was like a few episodes ago. And I never could get a real good... Uh, I couldn't get zeroed in on the ones that I saw then. But before that was the, the three stars that we, we had saw that I was trying to get. They move so quick. Alright, what do we have? So many of them, it's hard to pinpoint. Okay, here we go. Young, one star. What else do we have? Mature, one star. He needs to go. Two star, one. Where was the mature? There's the mature, one star. 234 yards. I wonder if we can do this real quick. So I've already lost him. Dang. Yeah, there's just so many of them in this little group, and they move so quick. I'm fixing to just take one, because we need the money. We'll get it over with. Oh, I shot too far back. Shot too far back. I wonder if this is her. I bet it is. That's unfortunate. I called myself shooting right at the right spot, but I always forget there is a little bit of distance there, and she was moving forward. So if I'm going to shoot like that, I need to follow through. All right, so we're on the trail. Finally found it. It took a minute. It's kind of hard to see because the, you know, the way the hunter sense does. Trying to find it in the food plot was, I say food plot. Hey, there she is. What do we have? Yeah, we shot way far back. I'll sell her. I think we have enough money now. Pretty sure. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see. Go to our shop. And where is it at? Right here. Hold in the jack. That's a pretty cool shotgun, though. Whew. Man, that's expensive. I really like this one, though. This is my favorite one. That over and under. Let's go to our gear. Is that, yeah, arms. No. There we go. Storage. Old and the jack. All right. Let's swap that out. Okay. So we'll try this and see what kind of luck we have. But first, I think we need to rest until tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah, it's 630. So we'll rest up and get a fresh start in the morning. So what we've done is we've basically traveled over to this campsite right here and this is where we're going to start because there's tons of pheasants all around out here and of course there's the rabbits as well and a bunch of other stuff so it should be pretty uh it should be pretty good this this area is pretty good to hunt nice and open you can see stuff for a good ways away and uh yeah so let's get started and let's see if we can get some uh a couple pheasants 
knocked out of the way. Oh, check this out. What are these guys? Some more fallow deer. What do they look like? They're a little too far. Let's see if we can get a little closer. It looks like they're a lot closer than 300 yards. Ease on in there. Be able to figure out what they are. May get lucky. You never know. There's a three-star mature. He's going to have some really good offspring, I bet. One-star adult. One-star adult. One of these one-star adults, we need to take them. I know I'm pheasant hunting, but I'm also trying my best to do this management stuff. And I may as well take advantage of it while I can. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. We'll see about this guy here. He's a little closer. And uh, we'll be able to make a little money along the way. Because we are broke now after buying that thing. After buying the shotgun anyway. So how far is this guy? 269 yards. Let's see if we can get a shot on him laying down. He popped back up, 269. That will do two, oops, 218. Wind is blowing directly towards him. I'll have to aim just a touch high. Dare I try this shot? I think we can do this. There we go. Yeah, that was good. I feel good about that. It'd be even better if we could get a hold of that other one. Go ahead and knock him out too, because you know if he's in there, most likely he's going to breed. I imagine we'll be hearing some pheasants pretty soon. They're usually all over the place over here. But too, that's always when I'm not looking for them. <laughs> Here's this guy. Let's check him out and see see if we made the right choice uh well i don't know so if he's at 51 percent i wonder what that means would he have potentially been a two star i don't know but i know that 51 is is not is still not that great we want it to be up what at least 80 percent or so i would imagine all right well, we got him out of there regardless. So let's keep on searching and see if we can run into any of these pheasants. Oh, I heard our first pheasant. I don't know where it's at, but I heard it. Let's see if we can use our hunter sense and figure it out. Nope, not seeing anything. I think it's in this direction here, though. That was close. They're close too. I don't think I'm going to necessarily pick and choose with the pheasants. I'm not too much worried about getting like a five star or anything with them. Look at this rabbit. What are you? It's a three star. I'm going to scream. Uh, just a little, just a little female. Where's your little partners at? Where's your little buddies? Your little bunny buddies? Oh, I can't be worried about them right now, can I? Say that. I don't see any other ones. Okay. Here we go. Okay, focus. Oh, there goes them rabbits. Oh, they skip. Look at that. That was kind of cool. The rabbit scared them. Very cool. I don't know if it did that before, but I mean, it kind of sucks too, considering that I was fixing to try and shoot one of them. 
Oh well, that's fine. I wonder what's over there. There's so much stuff out here. Resting rarely. Where'd you go, Mr. Pheasant? Right there. Okay. Let's see about getting this guy. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Where's he at? Oh, right there. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got him. Okay. I'm going to let him calm down for a second. We know there's one right there. Kind of keep an eye on it. It seems like they don't stay together at all. Like they're kind of spread out everywhere now. What did we get? What did we get? Okay. Just a little simple little one star. It's fine though. They're not worth a whole lot. Oh, there's another one back here. To kind of pick our our lane here because if he's right up in the trees. I'm not going to be able to shoot him. Okay, there he is. Mm, may be able to work this out. It depends on which direction he flies when we scare him up. Let's see what happens. That that mist was uh, a little crazy, but that's all right. He's in our face, right here. Okay. All right. Let's give us another shot. Yeah, I don't. I don't get these shotguns. I really don't. Okay, so I'm going to put a bead right on this guy and just see what happens. Okay, so that worked. Um, I don't know. There's got to be a trick to it or something that uh, we have to get figured out. So let's have a look at him and see what we got. Interesting to see that we put the... We put the bead right on him, but only four pellets actually hit him. I don't know. Alright. Let's keep looking. We'll get this shotgun figured out at some point in time. Nice. We got him without any issue. As, uh, we aimed just above him, it seemed like, when he was flying. I think that's what we have to do is just catch them when they're right. You know, as soon as they're coming up off the ground, if they get past that point, then I don't think it works out very well. Alright, let's see about getting one more pheasant taken care of real quick. Yeah, it seems to be the trick. If, if we can catch them when they're jumping right up off the ground and just basically aim right above them. Which makes sense, you know. But uh, it's just impossible to see them when you're having to cover them up with the gun to be able to make that shot. 10.99% rating. That is the lowest I've seen out of any animal. Cool. We got a little bit done. I feel pretty good about it. We got a move blonde taken care of. We got four pheasants knocked out. A couple other animals made some money. 
bought us a new gun. It's pretty good. Looking forward to the next episode. We'll continue on doing what we're doing. I appreciate y'all coming along with the hunt with me today. Hope y'all have a great day. Like, subscribe, and goodbye.